So we're in the garage. I'm working on the car. Got the wood stove going. It's about 30 degrees outside, probably a little bit more than that, but here it is. This is the update. And turns out I've been running wood stoves wrong this entire time. I also need a damper, but I'll figure that out after. So anyway, this is what I got going on. Last year, I tried a design that took surface temperature from the side of the unit, given I thought the stove actually got hot enough on all sides, but that wasn't mm -hmm. the case. I made these boxes to sit on top rather than the side, and for added heat absorption, I went overboard with aluminum grids, but any thick plate or loose pieces of aluminum work as a conductor. I also had an encasement on the chimney flue called a stack shroud. stack shroud can be easily built with a piece of snap lock, a couple of reducers, and a couple of takeoffs. I also got this cheap $13 Amazon fan. It's about five inches wide in diameter. So here's how I do it. hear me out. This modification is pretty tedious and it was a bitch getting in. But when it's 10 degrees outside and you're ramping this thing up, the surface temperatures on that stack will increase. Therefore, the more heat you're just pushing out the window. So what I wanted to do was capitalize on that surface temp and keep it inside. That's the whole point of this fan. Not to mention it doesn't affect the, the stack at all because it is forced air. It's not natural as opposed to the wood stove, which is natural, but I'm only pulling so much at a time, just a little bit. The line coming down the wall is six inch pipe, reducing down to four inch in between the boxes and the stack shroud. The holes on top of the stack shroud are the first given entry point. Then the air cycles through all the pieces on the stove and through the supply line. My previous heat recording last year was in the low 60s. Let's see if we brought the heat. Tarped off this opening temporarily so I can keep the heat in here. So let's fire it up and see what we got here. series of about three videos and a whole lot of thinking somewhere ahead of time uh, I came up with a, a little flex line and air catch hood to put on top of this thing in the fall to see where this thing would catch air the most and it turns out it was right on top all along all this stuff is just custom built I did it myself you can buy a lot of this stuff at your local supply shop or Home Depot or Lowe's uh, anybody can put something like this together this isn't a big deal so uh, I kind of went overboard. But anyway, uh, this is pretty much it. So I, uh, I got to get busy in the video department again. I haven't been doing many, but I've been pretty busy. But overall, I like how this came out. I like the general improvement of this thing. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace. Now, taking a... 
building a Shrek. As this thing gets hotter, more of this here gets pushed outside faster. So as you can see, this is an improvement. I can As you can see, this is an improvement. I So as you can So as I've demonstrated, reheat. So after many attempts. So after I happen to just make my own stuff because I'm a sheet metal tin knocker and I can do that. 